Praise God. Didn't even know I needed as much as I did, but still had some deliverance to go through today, and man, I wept and 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 wept. I don't even know how long. But God delivered me from whatever else was plaguing me from within, as far as anything being unclean, as far as anything being unhealed and things of that nature today. And I'm grateful for it, man. God is faithful. It's possible to have unclean things in you without you knowing it and have the Holy Spirit. Because you guys have seen the Holy Spirit all along. And that's proof right there. You got A lot of you guys have felt the Holy Spirit in me and through my videos. Doesn't mean I still didn't have some things that were unclean in me. And some healing that I needed then. Because a few things screamed out of my mouth today. I said, God, if there is anything else left that I need to be delivered of, if there is anything unclean at all, get it out. Whatever it is, if there's anything left. And it came out. This is real, y'all. I just put out a video about this. I'm crying because I feel the Spirit of the Lord and the love of God. I cry a lot. I think I'm just going to weep. I think I'm just going to cry today. Continue to let the tears go out and worship Him. Man, I feel His presence so strong every day. It's such a blessing. It's so hard sometimes. It's hard sometimes to endure. I'm not going to get into everything that's going on right now, but from big time family issues, multiple, to car issues, to dog dying, to just so many different things, but I'm not the only one who goes through pain. I'm not the only one who... Y'all need to see vulnerability because the truth will set you free. This is what the Christian life looks like a lot of times, right here. Especially if you're in your prayer closet every day and you're seeking Jesus. Because even if you're not going through pain, you're going to feel the love of Christ and the love of God and it's going to cause you to weep. And honestly, it's going to be so overwhelming. Sometimes I get in my car and, man, I scream. I yell out to God. I can't take it. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes you need to be honest with Him. And honestly, if you are really filled with the Holy Spirit, baptism of fire, and you have a strong, very close connection to Jesus, you are going to be burdened every single day. And I know He says His burden is light, but He also says that you'll suffer with Him the godly, uh, the burden being light, it, 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 when he says his yoke is easy and the burden is light, he's talking about salvation and believing in him. Repentance is sins. Absolutely something that he wants us to do, but it's a process. And a lot of Christians will say you need to repent, but they won't teach you how to overcome. Mine was a process. All my giants didn't fall right away. But I didn't know how to fight right away. I wasn't mature right away. I'm still maturing. But I'm straight up honest with God, man. And when you really have the love of Christ, I'm going to tell you what happens to you every single day. Especially if you have discernment. If you have discernment, then you are going to feel everybody's pain. If you have the discerning of spirits, that is one of the nine gifts of the spirit. So you're going to feel when this brother or sister is in joy 
in peace, whether they have the Holy Spirit or not. You're going to know their character. You're going to know. You're going to be able to read between the lines. You're going to be able to just feel their pain. And it's going to break you. You are going to feel the pain that Jesus feels. I don't want people looking at me. Yeah. When I'm crying. <sighs> this one will probably go past 10 minutes as well. It needs to. But maybe not. I love you guys. And I'm okay, but... I constantly feel the pain of Jesus Christ. And I've had people try to pray for me and say, Oh, if, if, if this is not from God, you know, you're suffering... You know, and, and your sadness and this and that and let it go in Jesus' name and all that kind of stuff and it hasn't gone away. Do you know why? I asked Jesus for this years ago. Y'all need to know this about me. I said, Jesus, give me your pain. It's my one desire. I even said this. I said, Jesus, I understand that when we get to heaven, you're going to wipe away every tear. And all our pain and everything. But then I got to start thinking about Jesus. I'm like, wait a second. What about Jesus? Because Jesus never stopped suffering after the cross. He has to watch people go to hell every day. He has to watch them burn in hell every single day. He has to watch that. Just to look at that. Mary Kay Baxter, I think, was taken for like 40 days and 40 nights. She had divine encounters with Jesus. She walked through hell with him. She saw all that. She saw how sad Jesus was when he was walking through hell. I asked Jesus for that. I said, Jesus, I started thinking about Jesus in heaven at the end and us, how all our pain will be wiped away. I was like, wait, what about Jesus? Is he still going to feel that pain in his heart? those people down there I said Jesus if you are if you are still going to feel the pain and you still see them and you have to endure that for eternity then we will go through it together I must be one with you forever and if you're still seeing those people in hell and feeling pain from that then I want that and as long as I'm here on earth, I want to be able to feel your pain every single day for these people. Now you guys have seen that I have love and joy and peace which doesn't come from me. It's the Holy Spirit through me. But I have pain. Presenting my body before God as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto Him, which is my reasonable service. Romans 12. The beginning of Romans 12. <laughs> For anyone that's ever called me false, I forgive you. You don't know my daily tears. Pain's so overwhelming, feels like I'm gonna explode sometimes, but it's not worldly pain. It's what Jesus feels for you, and it's what I asked for, and it's what I experience daily. I suffer with him daily. I crave that. I crave his sufferings. Because in his sufferings, I know him. The greatest gift of all in this life is to experience the pain and suffering of Jesus Christ daily. The greatest gift of all.